Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive when we're starting the timer. Yes, we is. TNT, uh, if you see a guy using a metal detector, <laughs> what, what do you think of him? <laughs> I don't know. I think that maybe, you know, he's discovered a new hobby. Have you ever, have you ever used one or seen anybody a, use I want, one? I want one, Jonas, for real. I would love to have a metal detector. Why don't we go get one? No. And then we'll... Tape it for the channel. I'll no. tape you what? using a metal detector that around the, the city of Austin. Boring thing to watch. No, dude, you commentate it, and then you go beep 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 beep, and then you commentate metal detector. I will commentate watching you look awesome. I, no, because that that feels like I don't want you commentating my life. I you either... take it out into the. You find like s dirty syringes that hobos have used, <laughs> and like all sorts of stuff. If anybody's going to commentate my life, it's going to be. Uh, Drake, no, well, that would be all, that would be acceptable, <laughs> or it's going to be Morgan Freeman or okay. Samuel L. Jackson. Okay, or either maybe, very soft and docile or just screaming. Yeah, or maybe James Earl Jones. Okay, or all three. All three would be great at the same time. <laughs> just talking over each other. <laughs> he yeah. went to the bathroom to take a poo as he flowed the urine out of his <laughs> urethra into the toilet. <laughs> and then James Earl Jones. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, but no, I uh, my neighbor had one, and he sometimes like would be, when he had it. He was like a grandpa age mm -hmm. man when I was a kid. Um, he would he would uh, sometimes like ask like have me put, call me out and like he'd like go around the yard, but he would like. He sometimes he would, he would like throw a quarter in the yard and then be like, "Look what I found!" He'd give it to me, like you know. I wouldn't see it, but like uh, looking back, like isn't that sweet? Yeah, he was, they were good. They were good neighbors. They were nice. Uh, but no, I've I've always thought it would be neat because you hear about people who take their metal detectors out and they find like a Roman cone from like 700 BC and it's worth like seven billion dollars. Yeah, like, are, are people doing that for real? Like, I don't think people so. are out there checking the dirt, dude. Like, like take a. I've never seen a person with a metal detector. Except in, in Florida, I did. In Florida, on the beach, I did. Okay. But I guess, like, if you're going on the beach, it's even easier than dirt because, like, you can just go through the... Because people go to the beach and lose crap all the time. Yeah. Like, so I wonder if, like, people are finding, like, phones. I mean, what are you going to do with a... This is my problem. Sell like, it. If, who, 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 Somebody who buys you phones. You can't even unlock it. Everybody has a password on it. Yeah, you know, like, just, factory reset it. Well, yeah, and then you sell it to Google. Dude, I wouldn't know where to sell a phone if I. They have a I thing in to... HEB. You sell a phone there. It's like a Do kiosk. Really? Yeah, you just go in and give them your old phone. It gives you cash. How it's all is, automated. How much does it give you? I don't know. Probably seven dollars. I have no idea. <laughs> I need to know because, like that, you know, that's the business we should get into. Right. Right. Is yeah. just robbing people for their phones and selling them oh, at the HEB how... kiosk. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth the thirty dollars you gave me for that Samsung. <laughs> Jesus, but no, I've never. Uh, I like. I think it would be cool to use a metal detector, but I feel like I would never find anything. Yeah, it seems like it's a shot in the dark. Kind of like uh, people who buy storage units. Oh yeah, like the the auction ones. Yeah, yeah. it's in oh. the same field as that. Well, nine. I'm, my guess is like ninety percent of the people who don't pay for their storage unit don't have anything worth of value in there anyway. Yeah, yeah. Like you get the odd ones where somebody dies, they go to jail, whatever, mm -hmm. and it's just it's what it is what it is. But yeah, most of it's just like, yo, they were homeless and threw their stuff <laughs> in a, lost their apartment, threw their stuff in storage, and right. then didn't have enough to pay for it. Uh, like, I, I take storage units were the original loot box. Yeah, I guess so. They, yeah. they, they, they were their original loot boxes. Yeah. And also like uh, going to like uh, what do you call those uh, garage sales? Oh, dude, I love that. I do too. The like state that's more sales, fun. garage sales. Yeah, I would rather go to a garage sale, state sale. I've been to a state sale and actually bought some stuff. Um, yeah, but yeah, the garage sales. Those are cool. Um, like auctions. Well, I yeah, guess, I like or, flea markets, and that's why I like the Goodwill flea market. Any of that, anything where someone's selling their stuff. Mm -hmm. It's cool to look around. Sometimes people sell, they don't know if they have to sell, and you're like, "Oh, that, I got a that, good deal that on that." Part. Yeah, that part. Yeah, like I flea markets, they're a little bit more knowledgeable about. What oh they yeah, because that's usually like they're they're doing it for money. But like a garage sale, I definitely had like some guy I was having a garage sale once, and uh, I was selling old records, and he came across and he was like, "How much you want for this record?" And I was like, "I don't know, dude. Five bucks sound good." He was like, "Yes." And I was like, oh, dude, you showed your poker face. Yeah, it's right. Gone. He was like, absolutely. Yeah, I was like, all right, you could have it, dude. It was like a Michael Jackson or something. It oh, like, that's yeah, probably yeah. why, yeah. It was probably but, like, yep. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, but no, dude, I, uh, 
I I think like in Austin, if you took if you took a metal detector to Zilker Park after ACL Fest, you would find oh, stuff. Yeah. You you would find stuff like m- change. There would be because I mean it's just a grass field, but stuff yeah. falls out of their pocket, and then people step on it. It gets pounded yeah. into the ground. You probably hey. find keys. You find heroin needles, coke straws. <laughs> you know what you're really looking for if you are uh, using a metal detector. What's that? You're looking for some woman or some man who effed up and dropped their wedding ring. That's what you're looking oh, for. Oh yeah, because that, that's a big the old, big one. A diamond. Yeah. Well, that's the other, well. If you have diamond earrings and like the earring falls yep. out, like yep. yeah. So I guess there is. Yep. You're man. essentially looking for somebody else's misfortune, and I guarantee you, pretty much, like, yeah. Uh, that's probably like what the majority of people out there who have actually found something worthwhile. That's what they found. If they somebody. found jewelry, yeah. like a necklace that broke, like mm-hmm. with a diamond on it, or. Yeah, because yeah. it's not like you're gonna unearth like a diamond mine or I mean, not right. even a diamond mine, but like a lump of gold from the ground. Right, you might another. find like an old coin. That's like the best thing you can get. Yeah, and, like, and, but, and even still, that was somebody else's too. They dropped it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it may have been six hundred years ago, yeah. but yeah, but they but they dropped it. Some Spanish conquistador dropped that, and now you ruined his fun. Yeah, or he got murdered in the street, and they didn't pick up that coin. Oh, and, nice yeah. job. You take your blood money, you freaking <laughs> blood diamonds, dude. <laughs> you freaking user. Yeah, I yeah, you know, I'm really, I wonder how much a metal detector is, dude. I don't know, dude. It would They're, be kind of neat to go out there, right? I think it matters about like how good they are and how deep you're willing to go. That's why a lot of people do it on the beach because you don't need a shovel and you can't necessarily. You can use your hands to dig, yeah. Yeah, and you can't go around like just digging dirt. Yeah, like you can't go to the park with a shovel and just start digging up stuff yeah, to try to find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, because I imagine some stuff is going to be a good foot underground. Yeah, I mean, but I think you can even like set the range on them and stuff. They're pretty, uh, they're pre- they're pretty in, in depth. Yes, yeah, like, well, I would imagine it. now that uh, yeah. they probably are even better because it's just basically sonar. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I yeah, because I think it just it just sends the waves down. It beeps up if something's in it's the ground. It's like magnets or something. <laughs> magnets? How them? I, work? I don't know, dude. It's like, <laughs> that's what I was asking. Yeah, dude. I that don't was- uh I don't know, like, what is there another invention like that that, like, is sparsely used, but, like, is, like... A stud finder. Oh. The, every time I, I love a good stud every finder. Every time I walk down the aisle, dude, it's just like... Do, 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 I get it, because you're sexy. <laughs> no, I'm studly. It's not a sexy finder. <laughs> but, uh... That's my favorite dad joke, dude. <laughs> we'll go see a stud finder. <laughs> <laughs> this thing must be broken. It's not beeping. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> What's wrong with this thing? <laughs> Why is this beeping? I was just stood right here. <laughs> yeah, but I think the step finders are used a lot for anyone who does home improvement. I mean, I guess, dude. I'm I've, not using it. I mean, yeah, I had to use one when uh, I was going to hang my TV on the wall because you, you have to put the bracket in the stud. You, de- you definitely have to. You definitely have to bracket it up when you're bracketing it up, dude. Yeah, dude, I feel you. <laughs> well, I guess we'll end the video. Might yeah. as well. Yeah, well, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to CrazyTown.com for Jonas TNT. Uh, we uh, are uh, out there. Uh,